welcome back to a new vlog. It's the evening and I am sitting down to do a little bit of online shopping. It's how I like to relax. And here's Oliver wanting to bother me. I cannot sit on the ground at all because he wants to be all over me. But I'm sitting on the ground because this is easier. <laughs> Anyways, I figured it's been a hot minute since I've done a shop with me. And I thought that this could be a lot of fun to walk you through my thought process as I'm going through the website. You can see the type of decisions that I make when I look at clothing and stuff. I've been wanting to do an Urban Outfitters haul for a while now. I realize it's been a long time since I've actually done one. And it's actually just been a while since I've been on their website too. So I'm really excited to scope everything out. Before we get started, I wanted to thank Top Cash Back for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. This is a super exciting one because I organically use and have been for years. If you're not familiar, Top Cash Back helps you earn money when you shop online. They have over 4,000 retailers on their website, spanning across fashion, beauty, travel home and so much more the ones that I use the most on top cash back are like Sephora Ulta Essence Amazon Nike Adidas I feel like those are the ones that come to mind right now it's super easy to sign up it takes one minute literally and then you're able to start earning money immediately how you use top cash back is you can either shop through their website or the browser extension i do both if you were to shop through their website you'd go to topcashback.com type in the retailer you want click on get cash back now and then shop as you normally would after checkout the value of your purchase will be recorded by top cash back and then you'll earn a percent back that can vary day by day and by each retailer to too. However, Top Cashback offers 100% commission back to members and because of this they offer higher rates than their competitors. So for example, if I'm searching on here, let's just go to a random category or maybe not so random. We're just going to go to fashion. So you can see like Macy's, Amazon, Nike, Adidas up to 15%. H&M's a good one. Old Navy. I usually do shopping around the holidays on Old Navy. So as you can see, so many great retailers. So let's take an example of a Adidas is 15% cash back, right? So if I was to spend $100, which is super easy to do on Adidas, like a pair of shoes is over $100, right? Then I'll get $15 back. And this adds up so quickly, believe me. So back to after you check out, you'll see the earnings confirmed in your account anywhere between say like three hours and five days. It's actually really quick, but you can cash out at any time. You don't need any specific minimum, which I really, really like, but I also just let it build in once a quarter or every couple months, I will then cash out. Over the years that I've been doing this, I have earned well over $1,300. This is no joke. I love to use this. You just earn money doing normal shopping that you'd be doing anyways you know what I mean like it's it's brilliant so if you follow the link in my description you'll get ten dollars when you spend your first twenty five dollars on top cashback so definitely click on that so you can get a free ten dollars who wouldn't want ten dollars look at Oliver making himself so freaking comfortable ridiculous okay anyways let's go ahead and start shopping so I need to go to top cashback reclick on urban outfitters I clicked out of it on mistake Ooh, where do we begin i am so excited let's shop all i just want to get like a feel of what they kind of have on their website just based off of like the new because i think it's by featured or new items anyways oh my god juicy couture don't tell me that this is back velour tracksuits this is gonna age me does anybody remember these these were like my jam i wasn't a big fan of the ones that said juicy right across the butt like this but this is a vibe this oh my god but they were so low rise before an inch away from your vagina it's insane okay yes uh urban outfitters is just known for their graphics graphic tees i mean i need to search the graphic collection so bad this just reminded me of it these vintage jeans let's look at those levi's see what is this is low rise back in Guys, I love high-rise jeans. It just forms to your body and makes your figure look incredible. So as I'm already <laughs> can tell, I need to look for sweaters. I want to look for graphics, maybe some pants. 
in here. Puffer vests, love me a puffer. I wonder if they have like more neutral ones. Ooh, blazers, that's a category we need to go look at. Does anyone else shop like this? I will open in a new tab every single thing that I find that I like. And then when I get down to the bottom of the page, I don't know if I'm gonna get down to the bottom of the page here. Yeah, I am. I will go look at all of those tabs and add things to my cart before I move on to page two. And then after a while, I'll go to my cart and like reopen those and like narrow things down even further. That seems organized to me. I like it. Cause I can't just like look at one item at a time. Like I want to look at like a bunch at a time. So let's do that. Vintage denim lights. Oh, the reviews. It's probably because it's vintage. So they all fit like differently. It's a gamble. <laughs> exactly what i was thinking it was gonna be i love to look at reviews as well helps to guide me too should i take a shot in the dark on this and report back in a haul maybe i'll get the size extra small we'll see puffers Ooh, they offer the extra extra small nice i have a lululemon puffer that looks exactly like this the wonder puff that i got last season so i'm gonna pass on this and i'm not a huge fan of pink or the blue so next Okay, I'm gonna start to narrow things down a little bit. Okay, see this at the top, it says graphic tees. Let's open that up in a new tab. And then I wanna go to, hmm, maybe I'll just type in blazers and see what pops up here. That's it? Well, all right. This is the only one that I thought could be cute. Maybe, let's look at the other colors. Black, that looks navy mm. well let's add this to my cart we'll think about it graphic tees the beautiful graphic tees i don't know i really just want some new graphic tees gives like an effortless look to pair with like leggings maybe even like a cropped graphic tee to pair under a blazer that would be really cute too we'll see what we find okay my camera died but i was able to go through a few categories and get a bunch of tabs open so that we can just go through them one by one. Oh, you up oh my gosh okay this crew neck looked really cute don't know what i think i feel like that bottom band is going to be way too tight and i'm not going to like that all right no this looked really cute too i don't know why i'm drawn to these little skeletons on they're skateboards. I think I just really like the color. Like, you guys know my love of this color. Let's just add it to my cart, you know? I like this, but it also feels like a little bit too colorful for me. This one's up my alley. A faded black moment. Looks like it has some zodiac. <gasps> 21st again. I liked this one a lot. Simple, got a cute little girl on it. I don't know, it could be cute. Let's add that to my cart. And then this, I was surprised that I really like this. She just makes it look so good, but I could see this being a really cute moment with some high-waisted jeans as well. But I'm gonna add it to my cart. She kind of sold me on that. Oh, this is right up my alley, but why, why? Oh my God, this is me. I want this. Why are you sold out in my size? You're sold out in every color. Green, do we like lime? Uh, blue, no, not even blue. Well, damn. If you are any of these sizes, a medium, a large, look at this because this is gorgeous. This little bralette looks just really cute and comfy. I don't know if it's gonna fit my cup size in it. I like the black one because I feel like this is one that I could at least wear out and about, like pair it with blazers or like something over top of it, right? Because I'm tempted to wear like my Skims fits everybody bralette out, but I wear that as an undergarment and I feel weird not having something over top of it. So maybe this could be a thing. And then from the same brand, I saw this little racer back moment if they had it in white that would have been everything but it's also 46 dollars. you can get this exact same thing from aritzia the tna for 20 dollars. so yeah never mind making some headway i've gone through a lot of sections like the blazers i've gone through all of the shirts i guess i haven't gone through jackets yet but i'm going through the active wear oh this one okay i talked about this over on my instagram stories actually i've talked about it here on the vlogs too this beyond yoga racer back tank is one of my favorites it has a built-in bra in it it's like the softest material it's been like my go-to for just like daily wear highly recommend that one all right well i'm just going to continue to go through each of the categories 
guys and shop through the whole Urban Outfitters website, see if there's some good pieces that I come up with. I try to get like anywhere between 10 to 20 pieces for a haul video, but then I also wanna make sure that I can build outfits from what I'm grabbing as well. So I don't know. I easily probably have a couple of hours left of like going through the website and thinking about what I want to do. It does take that long. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I think it was fun. It's a good sign when we're already out of breath, right? We are doing Snow Lake Trail. Bear with me. This is one of my favorite hikes because the view, as you'll see, is amazing. But I'm excited to take you guys along. Some good old hiking in the Pacific Northwest. Nothing better. There's like the best trails out here ever. Oh. So if you ever plan on visiting, I would recommend that you check out this one. It is a lengthy one. I think it's like seven or eight miles. Is that right, one? 6.7. 6.7, okay, overestimated. We are also starting this hike super late. It's almost 5 p.m. right now. I think this is the latest both Juan and I have ever started a hike. This is definitely going to take about three or four hours. So we're definitely going to be fighting sunset and the dark coming back down. Babe, we made it to the top. <laughs> wow. Look at this view, you guys. Holy shit. It's so beautiful. How are you feeling, babe? Ready to go back. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, my hand is shaking. I'm chilly. I'm actually really proud of us of how quickly we got up this hill, this, this hill, this mountain. Yeah. I feel like we had a really good pace the whole time. I think what was like kicking or pushing myself into gear to like get up the mountain is the fact that the sun was setting. So it was like a good motivation. <laughs> I don't regret like coming at this time at all like no, it was good. like it was so busy coming up but it was because everybody was coming down there was like nobody else coming up the hill and we're up here all by ourselves there's no one up here at all and the view is like amazing because the sun's starting to set and like i don't know the sun and the trees and the water oh i love that we came yeah this is great so good i love this <sighs> babe we're gonna need to get in another hike or two before this weather just turns to fall. I think we have another week or two. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. I think we can do it. Oh, shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. I was just running up and down the stairs. Today is Labor Day and I actually invited my family over just for a little hangout, hangout sort of session. It's been a minute since we've all hung out, but it's the morning time, like I said, and we're going to make dessert. I'm going to make a chocolate pudding pie. Sounds really good. By no means do we actually need a dessert, but I don't know. thought it'd be fun to have one. So I have out everything that we're going to need. I just have a graham cracker crust. I have two of the packets of pudding, I have milk, and I have a whisk. So since this was last minute, I don't have a mixer here at Juan's house. That's actually at my house. So we're going to put in a lot of manpower and use this bad boy. Oh, I need Cool Whip too. Hopefully this doesn't need to be thawed because 
Oh, it does. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make as much as I can and then I'll wait. I am just using the recipe that's on the back of the graham cracker crust thing. Did you guys do anything fun for the Labor Day weekend? Nothing too exciting. I had a lot of work to get done this weekend too, so. I don't know if that was a waste or not. <laughs> I don't really drink milk, so I just got like a tiny little thing of it. It's 12 ounces, so it's literally perfect for this. Ah, get out! <laughs> I don't care. I'm just gonna go for it. My weak hands couldn't do it. <laughs> Wanted to save the day. <laughs> I just did like a no makeup makeup, but now I'm trying to decide if I want to put my hair back like in a little bun or straighten it a little bit and like leave it like this, but it's so gross. I so badly need to wash it, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do to it. I did just put some dry shampoo in it at least. That's not going to help at all. <laughs> the room is a massive mess, but this is just what I'm going to wear for today. Just a oversized sweatshirt, some bike shorts. Keep it super casual, you know? Mm, what to do with my hair? It might end up going in a bun. Let's just probably do that anyway to start with. Okay, pull pull and just dump me that large off the pizza. <laughs> it's funny. I don't have one at home. Who will eat that? Mom has one, I think. Him. It's yeah, okay, April gave it to me. There you go. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. Bravo. There you go. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. The amazing long weekend is over, unfortunately. <laughs> Back to work, been working all day. This is the most that we're getting ready today, okay? It was an accomplishment that I brushed my teeth, washed my face, I got dressed, I've been doing errands and working and everything that's the most that's gonna get done <laughs> one of those days you know i'm tired and i'm tired of saying i'm tired as well so i actually had amazon fresh delivered this morning nothing like too exciting so i'm not gonna show like a full um grocery haul or anything like that i went to target to make a couple of returns i'm still contemplating like the perfect curtains for Juan's house. So I returned a ton of curtains that didn't end up working out. But luckily they had Oatly in stock at Target. So I just got two, so essentially a gallon of that. So that's good there. Also, if you guys watch my video of how I balance being a content creator and working a full-time job in big tech, you would have seen this, but I showed like a home chef meal of like turkey meatballs and by far that was my favorite meal i've ever had from home chef like those meatballs and the sauce that was on it oh my god to die for so that's what kind of inspired the amazon fresh order that i placed last night at 11 o'clock p.m to be delivered today is i wanted to get all the ingredients to remake those meatballs so that i can have it this week so excited i found it's spicy Sichuan, Sichuan sauce. I didn't even know if they had this or not. I don't even know if this is the same as what I had, but this was like the thing that made the meatballs delicious. I also got like panko, panko, pan panko. <laughs> these, these you have to mix in with like the ground turkey. So I'm really excited. I don't know when I'm gonna make it, but I needed to say something to you guys because I'm so excited that I found like this sauce. I also found this that looked pretty good too. Oliver. It is a Sichuan pepper salt spice blend. That sounded delicious too to just put on like anything and everything. I am hungry so I need to decide what I'm gonna eat. Let's put the milk away. 
I did just get done posting my top picks for Lululemon this week. So if you're new, or maybe you don't know, but every Tuesday is new release day for Lululemon and over on Instagram, I always post my top picks for that week. It's something that you guys have been loving, so I've just been continuing to do it. I save all my top picks to like my highlight reels too, so in case you missed it, you can always refer back to there. And also on my like to know it. I'll link my like to know it for you guys. You guys need to follow me over there because anything and everything I post about Honestly, fashion, beauty, my outfits, like all of it, everything is linked there. So definitely go give me a follow over on Like to Know It. What to make? I'm starving. Can you uh, pull your weights in this household? Can you at least make me a meal? Like make me a lunch while I work instead of just sleeping all day? No? No takers? Oh, and I'm all over the place too. One of the other things that I got from my grocery owner that I'm like really excited for is I got cabbage what is this coleslaw this coleslaw mix in order to make coleslaw coleslaw sounds so effing good so i got everything that i could think of to make coleslaw i got like vinegar i have mayonnaise i have a lemon i obviously have like pepper and stuff as well i just found like a random recipe online but i was gonna make this have it with the meatballs too is that a weird meal i don't know it sounds really good <laughs> You think I would just want to make that right now, but I feel like I want that for dinner or something instead. Okay, I decided I'm gonna make this steak ragu with fettuccine and peppers meal from Home Chef. It's been sitting in my refrigerator for, a, uh, I don't even know, like half of a week, and it says to make within six days. So I think I gotta make this. And we're just gonna get to it. Should be really fast. Preheat in the oven, got some noodles, crushed tomatoes, which I'm probably not gonna make this with. These look like little Parmesan things. I started watching Below Deck Mediterranean, so I'm just gonna continue watching that and eat this lunch before getting back to work. Yummies! Today honestly has flown by. I cannot believe it's after five o'clock right now. It's 5.15. I need to take a break, stretch my legs out. I always sit on my chair like crisscross and so my knees. But the reason I do it is because whenever my feet are on the ground, here comes Oliver. I put my feet on the ground and he wants to just rub against my feet. Here he is. Hello. This is gonna sound so weird and I don't want him to rub against my feet next to this chair because the chair is white and if he rubs against it, then I'm gonna get black hair all over the chair and it's gonna get dirty and then I'm gonna have to clean it. So I'm just trying to avoid all that. Anyways, I am gonna continue working for I think a couple more hours because now that it's after like normal business hours, nobody's pinging me. I have like my alone free time and I'm trying to do like this investigation and it's just kind of nice to like spend your undivided attention on a project. You know what I mean? Instead of getting like interrupted and stuff. So I think I'm gonna take the next couple of hours to continue working a little bit. So while I'm taking my break, I wanted to share with you guys some things that I picked up from Skims. So Nordstrom released some new items um, from Skims Collections on their website. So these aren't like brand new things, but they're new to me at least. And so just in case you guys were eyeing these things as well, I wanted to share them with you and provide like my feedback on them. So I didn't get that much stuff and a majority of it is like the same item, just like in different colors. <laughs> so starting at the top here, I ended up getting the Fits Everybody bodysuit in the camis. So it's a really thin strapped like cami bodysuit. Ended up getting it in the color Oxidide. I think that's what it's called. I have this in the high neck and I love this color on me, like this brown is amazing it's like the perfect neutral tone brown that i really like it is double lined it's just like the other ones that i have before so if you guys have watched my skims collection video you would have seen me talk about 
these types of bodysuits. So my opinion on it remains the same. I love these. I think that they're really flattering and form-fitting for your body. It really sucks you in. This one in particular isn't one that I can wear a bra with because of like the straps. So if you are not a fan of like your nipples showing through, I would definitely wear like some sort of like pasties or something. This one I showed in that Skims video. I have this in more of like a nude tone sort of color, but this color is one of my favorites that Skims has come out with. It's called Talc and it's such a beautiful color and I love this square neck bodysuit with like a thicker straps. It does plunge down a little bit in the back as well. These I get in a size extra small too. I feel like this is one that you can definitely size up in. Same thong backing with button closures as well. And then the remaining items that I ended up picking up, I got three colors of the boyfriend t-shirt. I got it in black, this I think sienna color, and then also like their version of white. It's kind of like creamy. It's an off-white. I'm looking at the size that I got it in, and I'm kind of surprised I didn't get them in an extra extra small. So I'm kind of curious if the extra extra small wasn't available. And that's why I opted to get the extra small in all three of them. But these are definitely oversized t-shirts. So if you don't want them to be ginormous and oversized, I would size down on them. You can see what the extra small looks like on me, being petite, as you guys know. I like these on me. I think that they're really flattering. They're definitely long enough. You'll see that I'm going to pair them with bike shorts. The bike shorts, the six inch, these are the lines, are still a little bit longer than the t-shirt itself. So that's really good. Your bike shorts are still like peeking through if you like that look. But also just like the construction of these t-shirts are really, really nice. They're lightweight. They're really stretchy though too. They're super soft but also the body of it is slimming so it's not like a big boxy oversized t-shirt it's more like a slimming long t-shirt like the sleeve length on them too but now that i see that kind of an extra small i feel like i need to get it an extra extra small and just see how it compares especially in these ones so i got the same boyfriend t-shirt but in the long sleeve and when you see this on you can see how long the sleeves are and you guys are gonna think i'm crazy because i am not mad about the sleeves being too long because the way that i see that i'm gonna wear this shirt is more lounging around the house and this just gives me all the comfy vibes like ever you just need to go touch this it's so soft it's so stretchy as well yeah now i'm kind of curious to get the extra extra small and see if the sleeves will be a little bit shorter this heather gray one is by far my favorite i think out of all of them i just love gray gray is my favorite color i also got this off-white one it's called marble there we go it's on the tag to the shirt this one is see-through as well but if you pair it with the skims fits everybody bralette like the scoop one that i love to wear in a nude color you won't see it you'll be totally fine but anyways a fun few items that i wanted to share with you guys all right let's go ahead get back to work hopefully i'll make good progress on this i really really want to very much overdue for a shower and a wash my hair. Oh, embarrassing. We're starting to wind down for the night, putting the little lip balm on. I didn't vlog at all today. I was so busy with work, I couldn't step away at all. So really, you guys didn't miss anything at all. I just got a couple of things in the mail from Nordstrom. I ordered a couple of Goldie items. So let's just throw it into this vlog. So these are the two items I picked up. One of them is a recycled leather straight leg pant. And then the other is the 90s pinch waist high rise straight leg denim. What color is this one in? Not exactly sure, but I'll make sure both of these are linked down below for you guys. Let me go ahead, put these on so that you can see what they look like on me. So here are the recycled leather pants first. So I got these in a size 23. So with a Goldie, hands down all the time, I have to size down to a size 23. These fit really nice. They are, if you can see, a little bit big in the waist. I've been noticing that's like the new thing with a Goldie jeans. Like the waist in some of the styles just doesn't fit me as well. Excuse me, Oliver. I need to back up. These fit like really nice throughout though. And I feel like they look okay on my butt as well. These are really 
really expensive. I don't know if they're necessarily worth it. Like they're really thick, they're great quality. They better feel damn expensive because they are like, they feel incredible. Like these feel way better than the Aritzia ones do. But again, like for the price, I'm kind of okay with my Abercrombie ones, you know? The length, I should mention that, is a little long. But they're cute. So here are the 90s pinch waist ones. A Goldie hands down makes my favorite like denim washes. They always nail it every single time. These ones do fit big. I'm surprised by this pinch waist title because to me that would mean it's pinched, right? Like it curves in. No, is my assumption off? Because these are really big in the waist again. Typically when I wash my Goldie jeans, like this part shrinks up quite a bit, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like love them enough to like want to keep them because if washing them doesn't shrink the waist, I would have to go get the waist taken in. I would have to hem them at least like an inch or two off of the ground because they are long. So yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to me. Everything else about it, I do like though. Like it fits really well throughout here. Nice and straight through the leg. I feel like it makes my butt look all right. So yeah, this is actually a pretty, pretty good option. I'm gonna have to think about it. Let me know your thoughts on both of them down below. It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk to play, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't, and I should let it be. But I'm gonna dive, dive into you, and maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be. I mean, damn guys, am I a chef? Or am I a chef? Ooh. This is the Sichuan sauce and I mixed it with some brown sugar as well. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I cooked this today. I am pretty impressed with myself. Like, look how delicious this looks. I guess it's all about, about what it tastes like though. Let's try the coleslaw. Mm. For my first time making coleslaw, not bad at all. I think maybe personally I would add more pepper to it. No, let's try to add more pepper. It's honestly pretty damn good though. And then the meatballs, that's where the action's at. Okay, they're a little spicy. I think it's because of the chili powder that I put in it. Maybe I should put in way less. But it's pretty good. I'm gonna definitely continue to make these. Well, I'm just gonna finish off the night watching The Real Housewives of Potomac. I started to watch it while all of this was cooking in the oven. And I'm gonna try to get to bed early. It is almost eight o'clock right now. I'm doing a little bit of editing and stuff behind me too, but I really wanna get to bed at a reasonable hour. I think I'm going to. 10 p.m. is what we're shooting for. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, A Few Days in My Life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before you go, make sure that you're subscribed and also follow me over on Instagram. Also, make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description to sign up for Top Cash Back and get your $10. I hope you have a great rest of your day and your week, and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you. Ooh.